And it's great to be here in London. It's great to be back in my favorite city. You know, New York's my second favorite, but uh, it's a big, big day here, as you already said. I'm here outside a polling station. Polls will be open till 5 p.m. Eastern time, as you already said. I'll just update you on the latest odds, because I heard you guys saying 80-20. It's actually now about 86-14, so another poll giving Remain a little bit of uh, momentum this morning. So we know we're going to get the polls closing at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Early results by about 7.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Time, a couple of hours later. Let's look at which markets to focus on as they open. In terms of equities, Australia opens at 8 p.m. Eastern. Watch BHP and Rio. They're dual listed in London at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Hong Kong opens. Watch HSBC and Standard Chartered. Again, dual listed in London. The uh, UK bond market usually opens about 6. It's opening a few hours early. There'll be more volume by about 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, European equities open at 3 a.m. Eastern by the time that the final results should be known. Of course, currency markets open pretty much 24-7. Now, we've seen big, big moves in the markets, as we know today. Earlier, though, I spoke to J.P. Morgan Asset Management's chief European strategist, Stephanie Flanders, and I asked her whether there was a risk that we'd seen things like the pound and other risk assets rally too far too fast. This is what she had to say. I think there are dangers in the rally we've seen in the last week, uh, but it's something it's inevitable when you have such a binary outcome. If the vast majority of people think that it'll be a remain vote, then all of those people in the markets will act on that, even if everybody thinks it will be close. And that's been the odd feature of this campaign from the start. And, of course, she said that the word binary. I think that's the absolute key to what we've seen in the market moves because the sense on the ground here is it is still going to be close. You know, I don't know if it's going to be 51, 49, either way. Who knows? But it's not going to be 80, 20 like the betting markets are suggesting. It's because of that binary outcome that the markets will see, even if it's only going to be 51% remain, they're already moving a significant distance. So that's something to bear in mind. Certainly, remain has had the momentum of the last week, including the last 24 hours. But down here on the ground in London, as people are casting their votes, it still feels pretty close. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.